Okay, so for this lecture, we'll be creating databases and tables as well as indices. So for the objectives of this lecture, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to create databases, create or modify tables, and create indices. So first, creating a database. How do we create a database? The command is only create database followed by the name of the database. So let's say for example, create database MDB. So to verify, we can type show databases and to select a database, we can use followed by the name of the database. So let's now try this. Okay, so first let's try to run our MySQL command line client. So you notice I am inside the XAMP folder, MySQL, and then bin. So that's the path. So I'm going to type MySQL dash u root so uh, that's a username i don't have any password that's why i will just type dash u root and enter and then how do i first let's try to check show databases so i don't have the mdb so i'm going to create a database name mdb so how do we create a database create database followed by the name of the database let's say mdb so that's it so you end your command with a semicolon and then you press enter key uh, using my uh, mysql command line client so to check again you can type show databases so using show databases you notice i have or I'm, i already have here my MDB it's employee DB again I have created the database but it is not yet my default database so how do I make MDB my default database I can do that by typing use followed by the name of the database which is MDB so that's it let's now go back to our slide Then next, how do we create tables? So to create tables, or to create a table, we can use the create table command. So create table, the syntax is create table followed by the name of the table. And then open parenthesis, we have the column definition. So that, 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 that means we can have several column definitions. And at the end, we close the parenthesis, then maybe followed by semicolon if you're using the MySQL command line client. But what is the column definition? The column definition has the following format. So first we have the field name or the column name followed by the data type and other parameters. So the data type, uh, examples of data type are int for integer, varchar for, varchar for variable character length, double for numbers with fractions, the same is true with decimal, text and others so to verify we can use a show table show tables command so that will show all of the tables in the current database to verify the columns or to show the columns we can use describe followed by the name of the table so here's an example create table tblm tblm that's the name of the table and then we have here the definition of the first column. So that means that uh, in our first column, ID is the column name followed by the data type which is integer five. And then we can have other parameters like, for example, I want this integer to be unsigned. That means there will be no negative values because I don't think there should be a negative ID. And then auto increment, 
that means that this number will have an automatic value always increasing by by default one and then i also have a primary key that means that id is my primary key so that's the definition of my first column comma then that means if i have here comma then the next one should be the next column so i have here my next column until again this comma here so e name is my, the, again the name of the column varcar 50 is the data type and then not null that means that this field should always have a value and then the next column depth no integer 2 comma again that's an integer with uh, maximum of, maximum length of 2 then we have here salary double so that's a data type the column name data type then default 0 that means if you don't place any value the default value will be zero and then com double that means commission is also almost similar with salary but uh, the default value is not zero but null and then we just close the parenthesis and then uh, again we use the semicolon to execute the command under mysql command line client so let's try this using the mysql command line client so I have here create table followed by the name of the table which is TBL M. Then open. So what's my first column? ID. What's the data type? Integer 5. And then what are the other parameters? We have unsigned. We also have auto increment. And then primary key so that's the definition of my first column then I have ening varkar 50 not null depth no integer 2 salary double default value of 0 commission double with no default value and then close parenthesis followed by semicolon to execute the command and that's it i have now created the table so to verify again we can type show tables so you notice here that i already have a table in my database and how do i display the columns i can type describe followed by the name of the table which is tbl m so that will display the columns of my table. Of course, we can also modify the table that we have created. So first, let us demonstrate how to add a column to a table. So to add a column to a table, we can use the command alter table followed by the name of the table, add and then the column definition. Optionally, we can specify where uh, such column will be placed so is it after a particular column so example alter table tblm add position var card 30 so that's the column definition then after then we have here depth no so let us try that so i have here alter table tblm add and then the name of the column so let's say position varkar 30 after depth no so once i press enter key so it says here that uh, it was already executed by my sql so to check we can again describe the table describe tbl m so you notice now that i already have or the position column is already included in my tbl m table we can also drop a column so the command is alter table followed by the name of the table drop and then the name of the column 
So, uh, as an example, alter table, TBLM, drop, and then let's say position. Uh, actually, this was, this was the column that we added a while ago. Now, we're going to drop that column. So, let's try. So, alter, table, TBLM, drop, then the name of the column. So, to check, we can describe the table. Also, semicolon. So, what do you notice now? In the previous describe command, we can find here the position column but in my current describe command position is no longer included in my table so i have successfully dropped the column change a column definition so we do this if we want to maybe change the data type change the name of the column and others so how do we do that alter table followed by the name of the table change followed by the old name so just the old name then next will be the new column definition so again if it's a column definition it can have column name and data type and other parameters so as an example we have alter table followed by the table name tblm then the keyword change old name that's depno new column definition depno integer 3 okay so what we're doing here is we're not changing the name of the department number but we're actually changing its size originally the size is actually 2 now we want to change it to 3 so let's try that so alter table tblm change depth no that's the old name then or the old column then since we're not changing the name we use that no again integer and then three so once i press enter key and then again describe the table so you notice again in my previous describe command the size or the maximum size of depth now is two but in my current describe command the maximum size of depth now is actually three we can also create indices so to create an index this will actually be part of fine-tuning the database but let's uh, introduce this here so create index followed by the name of the index then on followed by the name of the table and then the column that will be used for the index or maybe it can have multiple columns so as an example create index ename idx on tblm ename so that means i'm going to create an index with this name and that index will be index for the table tblm and i'm going to use this column for my index so that this will make searching using name faster so let's try that great index what is the name i use ename idx so let's use that ename idx on the name of the table table m and then the name of the column e name in open and close parentheses so i have here now my index of course we can also delete the index so to delete the index we can use the command alter table followed by the name of the table drop index then followed by the name of the index so i use e name idx so I'm going to remove that index, for example. So alter table, the name of the table, TBLM, drop index, then the name of the index, which is ename idx. 
So that's it. I have now deleted the index. We can also delete records of a table uh, by using truncate and then followed by the table name command. Now truncate will actually not just remove the rows but will reset uh, the values of for example auto increment. So this will as, as if you are resetting the table. We can try that but uh, we can't find uh, we can't see any difference yet because we don't have any record for our table yet. But let's just try. Truncate TBL M. So that is how we delete all records or reset our table. Then we can also delete the table, delete drop tables or delete tables from our database by using the command drop table followed by table name. So I can place here drop table TBL M. show tables you notice now that my database is already empty and i can also drop the database itself so drop database followed by the database name so drop database mdb so that's the name of the database i use so drop database mdb so show databases you notice that the MDB is no longer here in my list of databases. So that's it. So as a conclusion, we use the create database to create a database. Use followed by the name of the database to select a database or to select the default database or select the current database. We use the create table command to create tables, alter table to modify the table, create index to create indices, truncate to reset a particular table, drop table to delete tables, and then drop database to delete a database. So thank you.